Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said that there should be no place for violence or intolerance in our societies and added that Canada stands with France. Il n'y a aucune place pour la violence ou l'intolérance dans nos sociétés. Le Canada est solidaire de la France et de son peuple face à ces actes injustifiables. On est là pour nos amis français. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that his country stood with France. The attack in Nice was the third in less than two months. France has blamed Muslim extremists for this incident. Just weeks ago, a middle school teacher was beheaded by a church in National for showing cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad in class. Meanwhile, a few Islamic leaders, instead of denouncing the terror attack in France, have tried to justify it. Former Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad waded into the controversy. He made a shocking assertion saying that Muslims had the right to be angry and to kill millions of French people. And in apparent reference to the colonial times, Mahathir justified this right by mentioning massacres of the past. Twitter labeled tweets from the former Malaysian Prime Minister saying that they are violative and hurt religious sentiments. However, his account was not suspended. French government has now written to Twitter asking it to block Mahathir Mohamed's account or else Twitter will be held as an accomplice to call for murder. While the social media giant has not suspended the accounts of Mohamed, the social media site has removed the controversial tweet of the former Malaysian Prime Minister which glorified violence. Amid global condemnation, Pakistan, instead of condemning the heinous terror attack, outright initially spoke about Islamophobia as the root cause. According to Imran Khan, Islamophobia is the problem that needs to be addressed. However, later in days, as an afterthought, Pakistan did eventually condemn this attack.